Hey guys, um, I actually like, and I just stepped on something. It's somebody stuck on my foot. Okay, but um, okay. I'm going to make slime and like a time lapse, and I'm gonna listen to music. And I have like um, 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 yeah. But um, the reason why I'm going to make slime is because of my slime shop. But also, I'm going to sell some around my neighborhood to help. Um, like, cause I don't want to spend my all like all my slime supplies come from my money, and I don't want to spend any of my dad's money. And I kind of want, and he want, and he wants to buy a house in like next summer. And I'm really want, and I really want a new house to try helping him. So I'm going to like help him, and I'm gonna go around, the slime, go around, um, sell some slime around my neighborhood, and then um, I'm going to give the money to my dad. And so yeah, um, let's go into making yeah, some slime. I don't know what we're doing. I just I'm gonna show you. I'll show you the clip of all the information and yeah. Um so but this time I'm going to do I already made a video of me making time and time lapse. So this time I'm going to make slime and put charms on it. And it's going to be like made the slime base off charms. So yeah, there's like so many cute ones. Like they're adorable. And there is unicorn ones, so I'll just put them in there. But it's going to be really cute. And I'm going to use these containers, so I can make 12 slimes, because I bought them, and I, I want to use small ones. But for right now, we're going to make a big white slime, so let's just get into it. Um, from Elmer's White School Glue, this is going to make like just normal white fluffy slime but I'm just just going to add like all my slimes are fluffy so I'm going to add lots of glue just fill up the bottom that's what I'm doing right now um because then we'll do two terms today but I'm just gonna fill up the bottom because the shaving cream makes it a whole lot bigger and I think we're going to do some Ouch. Some scented shaving cream raspberry. And I got a dollar cent and it's so good. So, let's add some. Add as much as you want, but like basically half of the glue I just added. Or like the same amount you're doing. So, it's just going to be white. So, I'm going to add some dish soap, coconut water, and mango flavor. And it smells so good. <clears throat> but this will just make it more bubble poppy or stretch and melt it down. Just like five pumps maybe if you're making a big slime. If it's like um when it's small if it's an eight ounce slime you're gonna add two pumps. Um we're gonna add some lotion and some mousse. Let's add some mousse. Mousse is kind of like shaving cream, but for your hair. And this one, like, smells good, I guess so. And I'm going to add some lotion. I'm going to get my mixing utensil. And you can add, like, a little or a lot. But I'm adding, like, a little bit. Because I bought, like, two squirts. And I do buy all the stuff by myself. So. <gasps> oh, no. I hate when you got it like that. Oh, God. Okay. So we're kind of going to go down there so you can kind of see how I'm mixing it and stuff. kind of just want to mix it like this. Or like, yeah, you kind of want to do that. So just keep on mixing until it like falls. Until it's like, not like that, not like chunky. And if... If you keep, if you mix it all the way and it still does that, just add a little bit more glue. Okay, I did mix it all the way, so let's see if it'll do that. Okay, it is really thick. So I'm just going to add a little bit.
play more glue because I don't want it to be super duper thick. There. So I added some more glue. And I'm going to make like so many signs. I might make like butter sign, clay sign. Butter sign is clay sign. Um, cloud sign, I mean. So. But the base is going to be a fluffy. Maybe a little bit thickish slime. But I'm trying to get it to more loose. Okay, I'm going to add more glue. This is going to be a big slime. Okay, I think I added enough glue. And then when we're then when you add everything, mix everything up, then you can um okay, wait. Then you can mix it up. Just like mix it like um, scrambled eggs or something like a cake mixer. Mix it however you want. And then I think this texture would be pretty good. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay, it's perfect now. Now you can add your activator. See, it expanded so much. Like, uh, you see, like, down there? Now it's, like, up here. But, like, that's the champion spots. Yeah, I don't like that's how much it really is. So yeah. I'm gonna add some stapler, which is liquid search, and I will activate it pretty well. I'm doing this on carpet, so if you want to Okay, I'm gonna take this off of the charge. It's like a hundred percent so and right here we just have a slime right here just chilling out. Let's see if I can sell this one. Oh, it's not sticky at all. Wow. And it's a foam butter slime. These are one of my favorite slimes, actually. Okay, so I'll sell this one for $2 because it's a two ounce. That came out. Container. And, yeah. Okay, now, let's, we're mixing it up, it's activating. Okay, I need more activator, because it's not going to activate all the way if you don't have enough activator. So I need a lot more activator. You kind of just want to add a little by little at, at, at a time, so you don't overactivate it. But if you overactivate, just add a, a little bit of hot water, let it sit there, and then it'll turn into perfect slime. So, I'll just a little bit thick. And jiggly for if you add hot water. If your slime over activate, which happened yesterday, and these slimes are really good still. Okay, so we're almost done activating it. When it's done, when it's done sticking to everything, then it should be good to get out and play with the need. too much of an activator. It's still a little sticky. When it stops sticking to the bowl and like getting stuff off of the bowl, you should be ready to play with it. start kneading even though it's like really too early to start kneading it just needs a little bit more activator okay I think that much activator will do perfectly but it like when it, you don't want to overactivate it, like it will like, cause it will get like you want to knead it while it's a little bit sticky too, because then it's going to get real bad. Like it's gonna be overactivated. Uh, yeah. Oh, a little off. 
Yep, it's starting to stick off of the bowl. She needs a little bit more here. Like a teaspoon or a tablespoon more. Okay, now it's getting to a really thick and good sign. I'm trying to figure out how to not make a sign thick because I all my signs are getting like super thick. Stop sticking to the bowl. And it's still sticking to my hands a little bit, but it's just gonna clean up the bowl a little bit. Okay, see? It needs a little bit more activator because it will stick to my other hand. This slime is honestly just like amazingly perfect. Okay, so now we're just going to clean up the spoon. Ah, uh, sorry, my like it was hurting really bad too. We're going to have this keep on the bowl. In the bowl. I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Thank you. So, let's pick out our charms. Just gonna take out our pan. It, it will stick to the carpet. And it's very hard to get off. Just put like vinegar and it'll be perfect. I washed my hands to like the activator to get off and it's still like so good. So, let's pick out our charms. I'm gonna like be blind. So the first time, we're going to try making a teddy bear. It has a, okay, this will be cute, really cute, honestly. So, let's just open up this, and okay, so these are like clear. Okay, so this is like a two ounce line, so this would be real cute. Okay, I'm gonna make this pink. So pokey, so pokey. Okay, wait, I think I'm gonna turn this into a cloud slime. I know. And then it's going to be a cloud slime and with some. Do I have any white foam beads in here? Oh, okay. I found something super cute I could add. Okay, we'll add some teal foam beads. Some these things. And then... What are those? These are so cute. I will add that too. Where is that? Oh, they're, they're at the very bottom right there. Okay. So, I'm going to make this. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to make it a pink cloud. So, I'm just going to use some, a little bit of red food dye. Some, because there's, um, where did it? Okay, found the teddy bear. So, 
So I found some teal foam beads. So I'm gonna from the for the teddy bear. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of that. And then I'm going to add just a little bit because it looks like a baby bear, so like some little animal things, a little bit of fruit things, and then a couple of these flower things. And it's going to be a pretzel, so yeah, let's just like get started into this already messy thing. Already so messy, like I have so much like cloud thing, so I forgot if you needed this time. This is like I don't know if you need this over activated or something. Yeah, you do need a little I'm gonna get a cloud cream so I'm not fully Get just a little bit of activator to over activate it because you need to over activate cl cloud sign so it will melt it down. Okay, did we? Ugh. Okay, we're gonna add a lot of activator. This is not overactivating. It's a little bit more, but it kind of is a lot. This is good. Always make your snow, I mean your slime, overactivated when you make cloud slime. So, yeah. This is such a nice texture. It's like so soft. So soft. So soft. It's like a pillow fluffy soft. Like it's so soft. Like, I don't know, but like it feels soft. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add like um, two inches more of some stuff. And this does expand a lot, so you just want to watch out from that. I'm probably going to have lots of leftovers from this slime. Time to make this more activated. Okay, I'm just gonna make this like this slime is really good right now. I'm gonna add the rest of the slime that's on the plate, but it's like so fluffy and soft. Like so fluffy and soft. But if the slime gets over activated, I'll probably add more so it'll melt down. Such a soft slime. Okay. It is a little bit too activated. So we're going to add more activator. It doesn't matter if it gets over activated. So. If 
if you if your sign is thinking, you're gonna add your snow. You can make your snow with like activator. So if you have a melted time, I'll just activate it. This is so over activated. I'm so soft. I love it so much. Okay. Keep on activating it. I'm going to have to wash this pan because there's so much activator. So much activator. Okay, I'm going to go wash this pan because this one is literally getting too activated. Because look. Pieces of salt start falling apart from it. So it's like over activated. Like that much over activated. But it's so soft. It's like a real like slime. It feels like a slime. It's like, like it's literally that what I'm talking about. Okay, well, well I don't know if this is a fail, but I'm sure we can fix this little fail because it's white. And yeah, let's go clean this. So it's a little damp. Oh my gosh. That scared me. For a second I thought slime was on my carpet. That would be so bad. Alright, so well. Well. Let's add a lot more. Let's add some more cloud cream. Okay, it's not going to be enough. Because this is really overactivated. But not so much because the slime is not so bad. Okay, this is a cloud cream because it's not fully a cloud slime but it is so good if it has a nice texture it's going to be good okay let's make these a little how many ounces is these Doesn't tell me. Look how much left over cloth on I have. Yeah. But I'm gonna add my some I'm gonna add my foam beads first so I know how much I'm going to need to add. But that is so cute. Okay, that's enough of foam beads. A little bit of red dye, like one drop, maybe even a little too much, but it won't dye it red because this is like always turns pink. I think it's already starting to turn pink. I'm going to bring this closer to the camera. But it is turning pink. I think this is a pink. 
Okay. It's for me to look like white for me, but the color is very similar. So, I'll take some of the FOMO pieces, which are sprinkles basically. And I think we did a pretty great job on this slime already. I don't know, I think we did an amazing job. Okay, actually we're going to scoot back a little bit so we can put stuff back and whatever. Okay, we're going to add some like fruit and flower ones. So here's fruit and flower ones. Looks like a little oh, shake. <laughs> Alright, well, the foam beads will rise to the top when they will. This time, honestly, amazing. Let's see. This thing turns so big. Okay. Here's our one little slime. It is so cute. Second slime to go. We're gonna make it a claw slime pro. Because we have leftover of cloud. So let's pick out a charm. Pick this one. Oh, okay. I really wanted this one. It's a gold charm one. I mean like a gold bunny rabbit. I think I can do this. Okay, so we do have yellow. And I have red, so I'll try making an orange. Because it's a little like a dark yellow. And then we'll add some... I'll see if I have glitter, but I don't think I have like any like... Since it's a cloud sun, yeah, a cloud cream sun, it should be pretty good, so. Doesn't matter if there's leftovers, but, yeah, we're going to add a little bit of foam beads. Actually, we're going to make the color first, because that's going to be kind of hard. Okay, I added two drops of yellow. We're going to add, like, half a drop of that. Right, we added half a drop of red. Cap doesn't want to come on. Okay, let's hope the yellow take over. I just make it like a dark yellow. I really want to make a bright yellow slime. So I hope I get, I get like a B or like, I don't know. Just hope I get to make a yellow slime. Well, like a bright yellow, not like a dark yellow. Okay, well, the yellow is taking over, and it is kind of working, but I realize it kind of is like an oranges. Okay, wait. Okay, that's pretty close. Yeah, it will work. Looks like a cantaloupe slime. That's a really pretty color. So we're going to add some, like, gold glitter like probably the whole bottle because this sun is like this charm is really glittery let's see if you can take out the whole cap oh well we can well we added a whole cap of glitter yay I 
that's a lot of glitter. I hope this won't dry this time. Yep, it is so glittery. It's making my like fingers all like really okay. That's turning very ugly, like a very ugly slime. Looks so ugly. Thanks a lot, glitter. I thought you were supposed to make slimes pretty. You made them all ugly. Okay, we're gonna see if. Okay, not a lot of glitter thought. We're gonna add some paint and see if we can make. Okay, wait, this is like a gold slime. This is like the color gold. I just realized that and I just added yellow. Oh no. Well, it's a gold slime, so. Okay, the yellow is just brightening it up. So, yeah, it's a gold slime. It's a little bit mustard colored now, but it's so good for a gold slime. So we're gonna add, okay, we're not gonna add any, like any foam beads. I'm just gonna put it in its container. Hope for a while. Hope it'll get sold. I'm gonna tell them because this is looks so gold, like so gold. Let's hope this will fit in a container. Okay, it will fit. It will fit. And it's such a pretty slime. Some. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait. There is way too much slime in here. Oh no. Okay. Well. Okay. It's a little sticky. I do have to say. And it just lost the charm, so. Well. It's just gonna have to do, because I'm not digging in there for the charm. Because that is just like, no, no, no. Okay, well. It is a gold slime. It is very pretty. So we just have to. Okay, this will do. Okay, next charm. I'm just gonna grab a handful of plastic. I have to make a unicorn slime. Okay. There's so much glitter, so I'm just going to use this side. But, this is honestly going to be a really, like, I have so many ideas I could do for this. Okay. Okay, my channel's right there. Alright, I have these foam beads and these foam beads. And I'm going to need this. Not that. Pink. I think I'm going to need a little bit of these, so we're going to make this one blue because it is, unicorn time is always like to me blue, it needs to be blue, but I'm going to use a thick slime this time, so we're just going to add a little bit of blue coloring. It is a little sticky, so I think I'll add a little bit of activator to the batch because it did, it did get a little sticky. Well, that's so sticky. Just sticks to my hands a little bit. Oh wait, slime does that, right? Yeah. <laughs> a little sticky but uh, but it's really thick so we're just going to add some these 
gummies. They're so cute. So gonna add a lot of them. And some of this like some type of I forgot what it's called, like sprinkles. I forgot what it's called. Okay, I think I added enough because I love these. They're so pretty. I'm going to add some pink ones too because, you know, because I'm usually pink. Okay, I'm going to make, yeah, and then I'm going to add some of these very pretty faux beads. There's going to be a party. Gonna be a party, yeah, a party, yeah, a party, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna add a couple sprinkles, FOMO pieces. Banana, get out of here! This is gonna be called a fruit unicorn, cause, and I'm gonna add some pink glitter. This is such a pretty unicorn sign. Okay, then now let's put our unicorn sign in a container. Like we're gonna split, we're gonna use all the unicorn signs if we need to, because these are a bunch of unicorns. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of this one out. Ice cream cone one. We have two unicorn slimes, and I think we can make another one with some. I always do this for the. Because it's like an ice cream slime, kind of. We're gonna make a layered ice cream slime. Some ice cream. It is really cool. It's kind of like a real ice cream. So, because this one's an ice cream unicorn charm, so. And it is so cute. So, we got three unicorn slimes. Okay, let's make, um, show you one out. A rainbow? Oh, I have an idea, actually. Oh, yeah, never mind. I realize how much slime I have right now. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we have some rainbow. Okay. What I'm going to make is a foam slime with rainbow foam beads. So let's add some we're gonna make lots of these slimes. I'm gonna put all the rainbows I have. Okay, 
this expands a lot, I realize. So, I'm just going to use this one. Ouch. First, we're going to add this whole bag right here and see what's going to happen. We're going to see what the texture is going to be. I do have some slime. This is some slime from yesterday, I made, so it's really good actually. And I'm gonna add a little bit of some cloud cream on top. So I need something to put the foam beads in. We got some foam beads, so we're just gonna pop this slime in there. Hope it turns into a foam. Using it real fast, so. Oh, got a rainbow slime, and that wasn't very hard to bake. Okay, so we got a rainbow slime, and it's a foam, and it looks so pretty, so. I'm going to add some of these, so. Some of them, and then we got our slime. Let's hope this charm will fit in the container. It it does, so yeah, should fit perfectly. Then, and then all the foam beads will rise to the top, and it'll be like the prettiest slime ever. Rainbow slime done. Second rainbow slime.
you get a true flum sign. And it is really pretty good. And we're going to put this little cute charm on top. So we got two rainbow signs. Next one. Oh, yay. Look at that. I get to make a gummy bear. This is a green gummy bear. So yeah, we're gonna make a green gummy bear slime. I'm gonna make another film slime. No. Okay. Now we're gonna put some. about foam beads we can make a green butter slime we do have green clay so and it is really So good. Okay. The slime is just a little sticky, which the clay will make it tougher. Uh, already working that actually. Hold up, scare. Trying to find some clay, I mean, food coming. Dropping them in here. Oh, got my food coming. Okay. Well, the green slime is all done and it is so good. It's just such a perfect butter slime. It is soft, it is clicky, it is super butter spreadable. Let's see if we can make a bubble. Honestly, a really good butter slime. Alright, well, I hope we get a purple slime now. I really want a purple one. Time to put this little cute gummy bear in there. Something good. Now we can only make one more last. Well, 
We're gonna have to grab some big containers because, yeah, really bad. Okay, well, we're gonna have this rest of this slime right here to this cloud thing and see what we got made. I think, I don't know. Okay. Well, let's see if these butter slime made a, any good slime. This made such a good, like, sizzle, cloud, cream, butter slime. It's sizzling. And it smells good. Like, yum. Yum. Yas. Yas. I'm gonna add this like foam slime to a white slime, so let's do that. And then I'll add this one right here. This is a two dollar slime for sure. So let's see if we can find a green. I just add this like little teal charm, and then don't know what to do with these two, so I'll just add this in, in this little bag. Alright, next slime. I'm gonna go get some. big slime this time. So this slime will be a butter slime, I think. Actually, let me go my brown Orange. 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 That's a foam. A yellow foam. Why not? And it'll be a banana slime, so yeah. Just a little bit more because this slime does get bigger. bag first. Let's see what we'll get. Well, this will actually be a banana slime, so let's add some bit more. This is, I'm going to sell this one for like eight dollars because it is ginormous. It's going to be called Banana Pit Bits and and it's going to be eight dollars.
this blue coin isn't working too well. Can I add two more drops? Four more drops. Banana bits, slime, this little tiny t tiny container oh I forgot to add my banana charm Eight dollar slime, another five dollar slime. Okay, we're gonna add some white. as long as it is. Wow, almost an hour of me just slime. Add a little bit of these, and I think we should be pretty good with this slime.
Oh, let's put this on elephant on it. It's cute. Okay, now we're gonna try making a French onion dip slime. That's going to be my challenge. I'm going to make pick some, make it look like a French onion dip slime. And I'm gonna add So we're gonna, I'm going to try making this look like a real, like, slime thing, so I'm going to put this in there. I'm going to make it a full-on foam. That is great. Put some foam beads everywhere. Yay. This one I wanted. So, we've got some flown beads, so let's just add these into the slime. some more foam beads and this one we're gonna add some green so that will like add some herb looking or something like just a little bit but then we're gonna add a lot more of the white ones because French onion dip is white Okay, it does look like it has green herb, and then we're going to add like this for, just like, a little bit of that for like onion, and then we're going to add some more, we're going to add some green glitter, our slime we're gonna mix this up and then we are going to add a lot a lot more foam beads So we got some herbs. Herbs. See if this will fit in the container or if we need to add more. Yeah, 
that's pretty good. Well, we're gonna add the rest of these in here. Just clean up everything up. Let me put some music on too. I love you, Mr. Bubs. Do you love me too? No. Oh, no. I think he loves me. Yeah, I got you. I got this on camera. <laughs> <laughs>